Good morning, everybody. This is Brian with Hollis Farms. Uh, on a little road trip this morning. Me and Jason have been looking at some, some, some equipment for the farm and had to make a trip to meet a guy over in the Mississippi Delta to pick it up. Should be something that'd be pretty interesting to everybody. I'm looking forward to putting this thing into good use. So y'all hang around. We got a, about another hour drive and get over here and meet this guy. Pick it up. We'll show you what we got. This is what we came after. Got this new auger rig from KBH over Clarksdale, Mississippi. You'll see this thing's a feed hopper. We're gonna use it to fill deer feeders. I think this thing will hold about 3,000 pounds of corn. You'll see more how it operates later. You got a gate here that opens the hopper. Electric motor here to augers it up through this chute. See the auger down there connects to that auger. You disconnect everything here, raise up the boom. Use this chute here, this flexible chute here, just disconnect here to run over in your feeders. This should keep our feed time down, cut it down quite a bit, and enable us to buy our feed and corn and bulk hook right here to you either hook to your jumper cables here we'll probably we're probably going to take a mount of battery box right here on the tongue so we can just hook right up put it on a trickle charger at the farm keep it charged up but we're going to head back to the house see how this thing pulls and before long we'll run a video on how it operates yeah we're on the road Got swapped out with the salesman there that brought us this uh, feed wagon. Y'all see this thing's got it. Jason will probably get it out and experiment with it this afternoon. Put, finish up putting together this video. But y'all see it riding there behind us. Thing pulls like a dream. It's got a good wide uh, stance. Good tires on it. We also bought some uh, flotation tires too so we can use it in the wet wet times of the year around the farm without tracking things up so, i'm gonna get on down to jason's farm here in a minute drop this thing off just wanted to kind of let you know how this thing tracks behind a truck i'm running 75 now no trouble if you kind of forget it's back there but uh, while we're riding to you i'll give y'all a quick update on this nissan titan y'all saw on uh, one of the other videos jason's thinking about looking at a gas burner we really had good luck with these Nissans because they we got a good buddy that has a dealership. They really take care of us. Uh, my wife drives a Nissan. My, one of my daughters drives a Nissan. My son drives a new Frontier. So we've had good luck with them. Uh, Y'all seen this Titan XD with the Cummins in the other videos. I'll show you sitting on about. Uh, I can't zoom in there with this GoPro. Got to uh, see. See there. 60,000 miles. I think I've had it about a year and a half. The truck's running like it did the day it was new. I might have to clean it up one time when deer season's over for the year. But we really enjoyed it. I think it's really a quality truck, a quality dealer that takes care of us. Can't ask for more than that. We'll be back shortly. I'll get this feed wagon to the down to Jason's place and uh, he'll probably finish out this video putting it to the test. y'all so here we are i had some customers and wasn't able to go after our new little toy here so brian run over there and met the guy and got it and brought it back it's supposed to rain here in a little bit we're gonna try to do some testing with this thing before it rains 
Y'all have seen me put out feed a hundred times in the sack feed. What this thing gonna do is save my back. This thing here, they call it a seed tender. I'm gonna call it a corn feeder filler, whatever you wanna call it. It's made by KBH over in Clarksdale, Mississippi. This thing will hold 3,000 pounds. Got an electric motor on it with an auger in here. I hadn't even done anything with it. We'll uh, I hope it if rain will hang out, hold off so we can do this. But I, I think you unhook it up there. It is pinned right there, two places. Unpin that, flip that over. I think we're gonna pull on this handle here to raise it up. Got the flexible flex hose right here with the long tube right there. Oh, it's got the cables here. This is one thing that I'm going to change eventually. Not today. This is just runs to your battery. We're going to change that. Oh, just got the street tires on it. We got us a set of flotation tires that will be better in the winter, springtime and stuff when it's pretty wet. So let's see what else, what else, what else. Oh, one thing I got to work on and figure out what I want to do. That opens the gate, but it doesn't have a lock on it. If it does, I ain't found it yet. So I got to rig something up for that. And let's see what else. It's got this top on it. I probably won't use that a lot because we're going to keep it under a shed. Oh, let's see what else. Brian said it pulled great down the highway. It's a neat machine. Neat machine. A little worried about the electric motor, but not really. I believe we're going to be fine. So. All right, I'm gonna gather up the Ranger. This thing is, the reason we did get it because you can pull it with the Ranger. So the one thing I wanna do today, I wanna get one bag of corn and we're gonna go to just a trough and figure out how it works and see how long it takes to put 50 pounds out. And also, I'm not gonna do a lot of protein pellets with this thing, but I do wanna try it just in case. They say that auger will chew the pellets up. We're gonna try it. Most of the time when I'm doing <clears throat> the protein, excuse me, I'll do it with sacks. But what this thing is really for is to fill up these 400 pound HP feeders that we got. But I believe it's gonna be trick and we're gonna end up uh, kind of defeats the purpose to have this and pour sacks in it. So what we're, we're gonna end up eventually with a silo to where we can just back right under it, get our corn in bulk and just another way it seems kind of expensive right now, but it's going to take just a pretty short period of time for it to pay itself because you can buy this corn and feed and stuff in bulk without the bags and all a lot cheaper. But it's a nice looking machine, heavy built, and uh, it's supposed to rain here in just a little bit. I'm going to get the ranger and try to get hooked up. I hadn't done anything with this thing yet, and we'll see how it works. All right, y'all. So I got it hooked up to the new Polaris 1000. I think, hang on, Pete, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, the only thing I see I might do different on the hitch, I might get one that's got, I got the, this one turned upside down. I might get one that's got more drop and raise it up some to get it a little more level. But this will do for what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna pull the top off real quick. I got us a bag of corn and a bag of protein on the ranger and we're gonna do one at a time and see how it works all right all right so we'll be right back of course this thing's pretty wide and it's empty but it it's fully good this is gonna be fun we get it to where we ain't gotta fool with them sacks a whole lot boy it's gonna save a fella back we get down here in one of these troughs and we'll test it out and see how it works All right, I made it down here. I'm just gonna play with this trough here. One thing I forgot to show y'all, and I hadn't even opened it. This is what they call a clean out door in case you need to. Boy, that's tight. Damn. I'm gonna wait on that. But anyway, you open this trap door if you ever need to clean it out. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't got no tools with me in case something happens. But And I made me a little handle here <coughs> or with rope. When we get in that, when we get want to open it up, we're just going to take that, push it down, and loop it over that bar. All right, let's see if we can get this thing rigged up. 
I gotta take this jacket off. I don't get hot. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm gonna set y'all down where I can have both hands. We'll get this done before it starts raining. Man, I tell y'all what this stuff is tight. Man, that's tight. ain't going to work good on this trial because it needs to go in the top of a finger. I was worried about this. Y'all see it flexes up there. I ain't going to be able to get it in this uh, trough. Doggone it. Tell y'all what we're gonna do. We're gonna run back to the barn and uh, I'm gonna set it back down, run back to the barn, and we'll grab some buckets. This thing's really made for a feeder that you fill in the top. I thought I could get it in here, but that ain't gonna work right. And I think all my other feeders are full, so let's run back to the barn. We're still gonna try it out. All right, y'all, so here's what I discovered. This part here will. I can't do it now with one hand holding this camera, but it slides right here and it's got the flex pipe up there. So I was able to get a little further away and get it over in the trough. So we're gonna dump a bag of corn in there. We gotta hook the lines up to the battery up there and then we'll try her out. All right, y'all, here's gonna be one of the first things we modify on this thing. It's got a long set of cables here that you hook to the battery, but on this place, our tractor tractor batteries up front. Plaris is up under this seat, and you got to get to everything. We will be modifying this thing, and y'all can imagine what we're gonna do. It's not gonna be real hard to do. I always got to work on stuff when you get it, cause it ain't never just right. But this will work for testing today. That might be the only time y'all see me use it this way. All right, we are hooked up. Now, we gotta dump a bag of corn over in there. Kinda hurrying, it's starting to rain. Dead gummy. That's when we get to having fun. Maybe we at least get to do this bag of corn. Y'all see this thing more, we're gonna try to hurry in the rain today. All right, let's hurry and mechanic kind of All right, let's hook it. Hook this thing up. We'll turn this thing into a one-man show. All right, it's got a long cord here, but for now I'm just gonna leave the Sweet boy, Pete is having a ball. We just gonna leave. All right, I think the time it it is. All right, 9:30. Oh, all right, I'm taking a minute to get up there. There it comes.
thought it would, but I think it's because it's that hole. Right there. Just having 50 pounds in it. I don't think I'm getting full flow. But we know it'll work. I like it. All right, so here's what I did now to see if we can get a little more full flow, see how it's gonna work. I went in and poured the bag of protein up and kind of completely covered the hole up. Let's see if it grabs more. I went ahead and crucked the Ranger up so it wouldn't run my battery down. Now we're getting somewhere. Protein's pretty good, it ain't breaking it up. That's exactly what it was. Exactly what it was. You gotta, when you get the bank full, it's gonna pump. Now it's back down to where the hole ain't covered and uh, slowly coming out. We'll have to time it better next time. I think it'll done in a minute or so. We're gonna go ahead and empty it out. It's starting to rain. All right, y'all got her backed onto the barn. Keep her dry. I know that testing example demonstration wasn't the best today. I was trying to hurry because of the rain and it's starting to rain now. I didn't think anything about the more you got in there to it'll go faster. But anyway, I can tell right now when we get it full or up over the gate hole anyway, it's gonna put out some feed. So I think that thing is gonna be handy. Ranger handled it fine. I'm curious to get 3,000 pounds in it and see how it'll pull it thin. I believe it'll be fine. You know, you may have to go a little slower take care of the ranger but that's a lot better than picking up sacks anyway y'all will see us testing that again if y'all like our stuff subscribe to us hollis farms hats t-shirts and stickers hollisfarms.com appreciate y'all watching out of here